This is kind of where it all began for me. Well, this is not the first of the anthropomimetic robots, but it is the most anatomically accurate. It's the only one I know. It's been made with ball and socket in the shoulder, which can even dislocate. It's putting in pretty well. And it's got collarbones, and it's got shoulder blades, and it's got a spine, and it's got discs filled with gel, and it does have to be gel. It's important that there's a hydraulic effect there. Never finished the legs. Hasn't moved for at least a decade, possibly even two. It's just flown back from the inaugural Humanoids Summit in Silicon Valley. I met a lot of wonderful people. And looking forward to the next one already. But anyway, there is the EDS, the Etchy Robot Design Study. Complete with a broken finger. The most anatomically realistic robot I've ever made and possibly ever strange thought but there you go